Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. X cubed plus one over x cubed is equal to eighteen. Our job is to find the value of x to the power seven plus one over x to the power seven. So let's start. This x cubed can be written as x cubed plus this one over x cubed can be written as one over x. Whole cubed is equal to 18. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This expression at the left hand side will become x plus uh, One over x times x squared minus x times one over x plus one over x squared is equal to eighteen. Now this x will be cancelled out with this x, and this will become x plus one over x. Times this x squared. Then we write this one over x squared plus one over x squared minus this one is equal to eighteen. Now by using this algebraic identity, a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b. Whole squared minus two a b. This expression x squared plus one over x squared will become. We write this x plus one over x. X plus one over x times. This will become x plus one over x whole squared minus two. Times x times one over x minus this one is equal to eighteen. So this x will be cancelled out with this x, and this expression at the left hand side will become x plus one over x times x plus. One over x whole squared. This uh, negative two minus one will become negative three. Is equal to eighteen. Now we suppose that this uh, x plus one over x uh, is equal to t. Let x plus one over x. Is equal to t. So this equation will become t times t squared minus three is equal to eighteen. We multiply this t by this t squared. This will become t cubed. And t times this negative three will become negative three times t. We move this eighteen to the left hand side. This will become negative. 18 is equal to zero. Now this is a cubic equation and is factorable. We write this t cubed, t cubed minus three times t. This negative 18, negative 18 can be written as negative 27 plus 9. So we write this negative 18 as negative 27 plus 9. Is equal to zero. Now, because this twenty-seven, twenty-seven is equal to three cubed. So we write this twenty-seven with this t cubed, and we write this three t with this nine, like this t cubed minus twenty-seven minus three times t plus nine is equal to zero. Next, t cubed 
minus this 27 can be written as a 3 cubed minus 3 times t plus 9 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This t cubed minus 3 cubed will become t minus 3 times t squared plus 3 times t plus 3 squared or 9. And from these two terms, negative 3t three three plus 9, we can factor out negative 3. Negative 3 as common factor and in bracket left t minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, this t minus 3 and this t minus 3 is common. So, we factor out this uh, t minus 3 and uh, in bracket left, uh, bracket left uh, this uh, t squared plus uh, 3t plus 9 and this negative 3. In bracket left uh, t squared plus uh, 3 times t plus 9 minus 3 is equal to 0. Next, t minus 3 times t squared plus 3 times t, this 9 minus 3 will become plus 6 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression t minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression t squared plus 3 times t plus 6 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of t is equal to 3. And from this quadratic equation, we see that the discriminant is less than 0 or greater than 0. The discriminant d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. And this is equal to b is 3, so here we write 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 6. So, this will become 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 6, 24. And this is equal to 9 minus 24 is negative 15. So, the discriminant that is also called delta is less than 0. So, no real solutions can be found from this equation. So, we accept only this value of t 3. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to t. We have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to t. So, when t is equal to 3, then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 3. And we have to find the value of we have to find the value of x to the power 7 plus 1 over x to the power 7. We have to find the value of x to the power 7 plus 1 over x to the power 7. So, to find this value, we take a square of both sides of this equation. So, this will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 3. We square both sides of this equation. By using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This will become x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x plus 1 over x squared is equal to 3 squared is 9. Now, this x will be considered with this x. We write this x squared x squared plus uh, this 1 over 
x squared is equal to this 9 and we move this plus 2 to the right hand side this will become negative 2 x x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 9 minus 2 will become 7. Now, we square again both sides of this equation. So, by using this algebraic identity, this will become x squared squared plus 2 times x squared times 1 over x squared plus 1 over x squared whole squared is equal to this is 7 squared will become 49. Now, this x squared will be cancelled out with this x squared. This x squared whole squared will become x to the power 4 plus this 1 over x squared whole squared will become 1 over x to the power 4 plus this 2 is equal to 49. Now, we subtract 2 from both sides. So, this get cancelled and we get the value of x to the power 4 plus 1 over x to the power 4 is equal to 49 minus 2 47. Let us call this equation equation 1. The given equation is the given equation is x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to 18. The given equation is x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to 18. Let us call this equation equation 2. To find the value of x to the power 7 plus 1 over x to the power 7, we multiply equation 1 and 2. So, this will become x to the power 4 plus 1 over x to the power 4 times x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to 47 times 18. Now, this x to the power 4 times x cubed will become x to the power 7 plus x to the power 4 times 1 over x cubed will become x to the power 4 divided by x cubed plus 1 over x to the power 4 times x cubed will become x cubed over x to the power 4 plus 1 over x to the power 4 times 1 over x cubed will become 1 over x to the power 7 is equal to 47 times 18 will become 846. Next, x to the power 7 plus this x to the power 4 divided by x cubed will become x plus this x cubed divided by x to the power 4 will become 1 over x plus this 1 over x to the power 7 is equal to 846. Now, we replace this uh, x plus 1 over x uh, with the value of x plus 1 over x 3 from here. So, this will become x to the power 7 plus 1 over x to the power 7. In place of this x plus 1 over x, we write plus 3 is equal to 846. We subtract 3 from both sides, then this get cancelled and we get the value of x to the power 7 plus 1 over x to the power 7 is equal to 843. This is the required value of x to the power 7 plus 1 over x to the power 7. This is the final answer.